Good afternoon, everybody. Um, thank you for the AC to have the opportunity to speak here. Um, I'm coming from uh, CF Müller, the architectural company in Denmark. And um, I'll start my... Uh, ah. All right. Um, I'll talk a bit about leadership uh, with the Sen. Ah, sorry. <laughs> what we already heard, uh, the people before me talking about. Maybe I have a slightly different perspective on things because I'm actually coming from the machine room where things are being done. And uh, the largest or the largest project that we made in, in BIM in our company together with the consortium building this household, it's about uh, 5 million square meters. Everything, uh, every process is actually uh, digital. Um, there's uh, 750 models in, uh, in, this, in this project. Um, but a lot of these things are not IFC. They are not something to do with all the work that's being done. And actually that's uh, quite an interesting topic because a lot of the software development uh, starts from the bottom as well. And uh, people making application that is um, usable for us and sometimes uh, faster. I'll, I'll, I'll go a bit into that because also that I'm going to talk about to you today. We are the data producers. We are going to put the value in these, uh, these models. And that's very important because we're not talking about how do we exchange the uh, the, the data and the information. We're, I'm here also to talk about how do we get the model, how, how, how do we get the data into the, um, into the model. Um, and it's about data management, about the, the industry that, 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 that we we're working in. That's a, a big challenge that we're facing. As we heard here, it's uh, the, the, the players involved. I won't go into that anymore, I'm just saying that we have a question to ask here in the Architect Council of Europe. What is uh, our role in the liaison playing against these, uh, these, these other parties in that? Do we have a voice uh, in, 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 that, in that game? And so I think that's decisions I have to make how we want to, to interact with, um, with, the, with the work that's going on. Because, yeah, digitalization is here and uh, it's uh, in inevitable in, 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 in many ways. <clears throat> then I want to uh, just look at the numbers um, from these report that we see. Everything is based on econ economics and how much the gain is. There's not much talk about the quality of our detector. Uh, and the numbers actually come from a McKinsey report, and there's a few other reports that they're referring to in the in the EU task groups. And as uh, Herr Tillman said, it's uh, it's not really documented that these saves are are, are actually there, or if they are just uh, something that we might be there if we change the whole array of of things or ways that we do that we do business. So it's not only BIM. Can we do better? Yeah, we probably could, and we are working on that uh, every day, in, in, um, at least in my company, and I think a lot of you is um, working exactly at that every day to make things better for a sustainable, sustainable future and a sustainable world. So sometimes being an architect, having difficulties in the, the, the fee, it's, uh, it's about, it's a, it's a, it can be quite provocative from my point of view to see these numbers. This is almost just to sum up what's, what's, what's going on uh, at the moment because um, this is the way things are structured at the moment. And uh, I've been a member for one year of the, my, the National uh, ISO Committee. And the way it works in my country, it's not really a democratic organization. It's companies, 
paying to get in that. So that means as we as a business do not really have uh, a democratic say on what's being brought to the table in the Senate and the ISO, in the ISO committee. Um, and then you see, uh, as Eivind and, um, said before, uh, Norway is, and England has always has been leading all these, uh, these groups. And again, um, a lot of the work in Sen is based also on the strategy of, uh, of building smart. I would say, uh, building smart, who are they? Uh, it's a network, it's a lobby organization, it's a, it's a lot of things. Uh, and for me, it's a bit difficult to see what they are. In some countries, the, the, the building smart offices appear to be working very well and it's functioning. In my, in my country, it's, it's quite dysfunctional what, what's going on uh, in the building smart and what they want. And then, see, this is uh, the director member. I don't really know what it means. I don't know how they influence the, the, whole, the whole process. And, as I've been said as well, they are an authority. So, that means when we're using the IFC standard, we are um, somehow dependent on, on somebody else outside of, um, outside of Europe. There's been talking about definitions, and there's a lot of definitions of BIM. I, I think I can count 20. Um, and just to say the different papers here from Building Smart Strategy, uh, from the EU BIM Task Force uh, Strategy, the scope of SEN, I don't want to, you don't have time to read uh, all of them, but they all sum up to somehow say, what is BIM? Is it a business model or digital tools? Um, that's quite hard to, to figure out, even for me at times, uh, what it is. I'll just say if I have something. <clears throat> so, I'll, it's take one step further down to say what, what are we actually talking about? Uh, what are the key words? You've been hearing some of them today, that uh, IFC is dealing with interoperability. Uh, it's a language of mathematics. And uh, I'm actually happy that, that, that people in, in Sen and there's somebody trying to develop a format like that. I think it's a, it's a good idea. It's, it's been going on for, for quite a while, since the 19, where it was called the end of Babel. Uh, somehow to make everybody in the possibility to, to talk together. Then there's another word, it's mythology. It's about semantics and language. It's about the way we work together, what, what, what things are going to be called. Again, that's one of the areas that, where I find that the Sen work is, is, very, is very appropriate and very needed to somehow get the right property set and get standards for the way we, we standardize properties. That's, uh, in my opinion, a good, is a good idea. So IFC is, a fi uh, is, a, is, is, for me, it's a file and data format. That's the basic thing of, of IFC, and I think it should be the basic work of, uh, of SEN and, uh, and building smart. I'm getting a bit nervous when you start to talk too much about processes, because it's getting very close to our scope of service. That's, um, that's my experience. So what can we use it for? We also heard IFC can be used for collision controls, quantity takeoff. It can be used for, for coordinating things uh, in projects um, where people are using different types of software, um, which again, is a, it's a good thing. Um, Integration with other databases for production use is, uh, is where the process uh, deal comes into it, where you start to see a big picture of which data is going to be available at a certain time in the process. And um, we're not there yet. IOC is slow, it's heavy, and it's always not uh, what we want, because we want seamless round tripping of data when we work with our, our colleagues. Um, that can be in databases beside of a graphic software, 
but that's where we have our efficiency and that's what we have to somehow try to achieve to be productive uh, in, a, in a daily life. Um, and then there's another thing talking about BIM as, as, as a big thing. Um, only a fraction, I'll say only a fraction of what's going on, what, document, what, what documentation is needed in a big process is actually being carried by, by IFC. And I guess, I don't know if it will, um, because there are different ways that we're working with it now. Um, So I think that's, that's what we're talking about, actually, when, when, when the EU task force is talking about a, a, business, a business model. It's a combination of uh, process definement from, from building smart. It's about using a, 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 specific, a specific format. And it's about the regulations of, uh, of, of SEN. And then you have something that might be called a, a, business, uh, a business model. But I see there's a question to ask. If IFC is the authority of this, we must ask ourselves as European, what, how, can we, how can we have some influence in that? And uh, that could be a topic for, for AC as well. So just to sum up, um, I think it's important to evaluate uh, what we're going to do uh, to see if it's possible to find um, a simpler, a simpler standard. Because that's what I see in my daily work. It's very hard to to get people enthusiastic about that, and it's very hard for them to 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 understand what they're going to do. And that's absolutely crucial if this model is going to work that the people want it and they really understand what they, what they have to, to do. So I think it would be a good idea to, to have a third eye on the, on the process to see what's, what's going on in the business right now. And then I think also um, um, business models, they must be technology neutral. Then there's a higher cost for, for data production due to a lot of factors. But we see uh, actually about infrastructure, uh, web speed, uh, the positioning of data, where do you have your data. It's, it's, it's getting a very, very big machine for a company like us, for 350 people to, to, keep, uh, to keep track of that. And we pretty much, uh, uh, it's easy to be out of your comfort zone for the, because we're not programmers. And we have to hire people actually to, to control a lot of these things. So BIM is definitely not without um, extra cost for us as a business. And as also Herr Tillman said, it, it, it's very important here from AEC to, to take up that, that, that glow and say we have to convince customers that uh, we, of course, want to deliver whatever the clients want. That's our, our, our primary goal. Um, and we strive to do that, but we can't do it for we can't do it for free. And then I think, uh, as last, if somebody is thinking about that, I don't know things you, uh, uh, these uh, uh, these things coming from from them. It shouldn't be make, make mandatory in in Europe at the moment. I think the time is uh, premature, and uh, there's still a lot of work and development to to be done. Thank you. <laughs>